Welcome to ASA's Virtual Test Prep DVD Ground School for Helicopter Fundamentals. I'm Matt Dragon, and I'll be your host for your Helicopter Ground School. Congratulations, by the way, on your decision to become a helicopter pilot. You'll be joining a special group of people who have committed the time and energy to accomplish this admirable feat. There isn't an aircraft around that requires more skill and is more exciting than the helicopter. Now, your flight instructor for this course is Gary Euland. In addition to having his fixed wing instructor rating, Gary is also an accomplished helicopter pilot and helicopter flight instructor. Now, the primary objective of ASA's Virtual Test Prep DVD Ground School is to teach you everything you need to know to ace your FAA knowledge exam. This Fundamentals of Helicopters is a supplemental course to the Airplane Virtual Test Prep DVD Ground School courses. Now, you should complete both the airplane and this helicopter course to prepare for private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot, or authorized flight instructor FAA knowledge exams. You can begin by watching the airplane lesson, then continue by watching the corresponding lesson in this helicopter course. Gary will cover all the material you need to know to answer any of the helicopter questions. The video portion of this course will take about two hours. Now, after watching this lesson, you should proceed to the ASA Test Prep Book or Prepware software to answer all the questions tagged ALL and RTC. At the conclusion of this course, use the activation code provided with this DVD to take some practice exams on www.prepware.com. ASA can provide your endorsement to take the FAA knowledge exam through this website. Following this program, you can be confident you'll get an excellent score on your FAA knowledge exam. Now, we'll cover the following topics in this course. Basic aerodynamics, helicopter systems, flight controls, aerodynamics unique to helicopters, performance, weight and balance, maneuvers, hazards, and regulations. Now, at the beginning of each lesson, Gary will give you a brief outline of the topics we're going to cover. Use these outlines as your own personal pre-flight. At the end of each lesson, go back through the outline and use it like a checklist. Ask yourself if you understand everything thoroughly. If not, go back and review that lesson again. This way you'll be pre-flighting your readiness to take the FAA knowledge exam just like you pre-flight your helicopter's readiness to take off. Now let's cover the differences between helicopters and gyroplanes. Gary, can you give us some examples? For example, a helicopter rotor is generally tilted forward and uses an engine to drive the rotor blades to push the air downwards. A gyroplane rotor, on the other hand, is generally tilted back and relies on an upward flow of air to keep the blades rotating. Okay. A helicopter depends on its main rotor to provide both lift and thrust. A gyroplane relies on its main rotor for lift, but usually employs a conventional pusher propeller to provide thrust. Although both rotorcraft utilize foot pedals to control heading, helicopters use an anti-torque rotor. Gyroplanes use a rudder, like an airplane. When a helicopter's engine fails, you have to disconnect the engine from the rotor system and enter what's called autorotation. The pilot has, in fact, just converted the helicopter into a gyroplane. Well, I get the message. So they really are different. Yeah, Matt, they really are. So, although helicopters and gyroplanes are both rotorcraft, they really are different kinds of machines. While much of the course applies to both the gyroplane and the helicopter, we're going to focus primarily on the helicopter. Okay, with that in mind, Let's join Gary in the classroom and get started. 